It's the season finale of the 2023 FIM S1 GP season, emanating from one of the most famous supermoto locations on Earth, Mete, in Belgium's Wallonia. Let's start with a little look at Wallonia. By landmass, Wallonia accounts for over half of Belgium, but since it only homes a third of the population, there's a nice pace to life and gorgeous undisturbed areas for those who love nature. There's no lack of sights and experiences for tourists, and urban explorers will also be wowed by its largest cities, Charleroi and Liège. Rich in history and culture, Wallonia is a great place to be, and this weekend, World Championship Fever has arrived within the borders. Let's hear from our title contenders, Lucas Holbacher and Mark Reiner-Schmidt. I'm here to win this title, you know, it's not... I'm not here for fun, I'm here to win the title. Method is like my home and yeah, I will put everything in to bring the third title in my pocket and yeah, that's why I'm here, no question. The better rider should take the title. Um, so it's a long weekend, three races and um, I have a good setup, I'll be ready. Only three points separate us, it's not that much. We get 81 points, the maximum in a weekend, so everything is possible and I'm ready, ready for good racing. Uh, between me and Max, uh, three points and um, we have 81 points more this weekend, so yeah, everything is open. I sleep very well last night, yeah, good and long sleep. I'm ready, my first title was different, I sleep not that much, but now I have two in my pocket, maybe three to this Sunday, so I'm relaxed. Oh yeah, I slept really good last night, yeah. <laughs> For me, until now, the best race was the GP of Germany. I won all the three races in my home crowd, was my first ever home GP. I enjoy every lap, every second out there, it was amazing atmosphere and yeah, I enjoy to ride there every lap. The best race was for me um, the three GPs victory in Sardinia, Bulgaria and Spain. I hope with me on the top, that's the plan and that's why I'm here. So I, I will put my TM on top spot of the podium and we will see. If I if I'm be in front of Lucas, I'm the world champion. So I don't be a horoscope, I don't know. I mean, uh, we have a long weekend, so just Try to, to enjoy and to be uh, in a good mood and to be ready for everything what can happen. If I win the title this Sunday, my team will stop everything and I, I have some good German beer and other stuff here. So we put also the hammer down in the paddock and we will make maybe the biggest party ever after World Championship title for me. I would celebrate it big because it's a long, long dream. So I didn't, rec I didn't really think too much on a celebration right now. So uh, I don't know. And Lucas, also for you, good luck. We have some good races together and I think we'll continue like that also this weekend. So yeah, have a good one. Good luck, Mark. Uh, and we give our best and the better rider should win. Uh, we are strong and uh, we fight really hard. So let's Give everything. And here's the battleground for this year's title decider, the unique Mete Street Circuit on the famous Superbiker Weekend. Almost 2.4 kilometers in length, a layout that challenges even the elites in our sport. There's no replacement for experience around a layout like this, and as such, we called upon the locals to talk us through the track, Belgium's own Roman Cavers and Romeo Fiorentino. We are at the end of the asphalt section. The very important thing here is to keep to the left side of the circuit to quickly enter the right-hander and the following S-bend. This point is also interesting for braking. Overtaking can be done too. We must stay to the centre of the circuit to avoid being attacked by our opponents. Faut pas trop s'élargir, faut plutôt rester au milieu du circuit pour éviter les attaques des autres pilotes. The 
voilà, ici nous sommes sur le droit. We are on the straight where we arrive with the greatest speed. We come from the long starting straight here on the very fast right hander. It must be approached very wide and then immediately tighten inside, even touching the curb, the plastic protections. We can actually follow them by touching them and then widen again at the exit for the next left bend, where we'll stay narrow again, touching those plastic protections. It's a very technical part. We have to widen a lot and then take the next straight, which is at the end of the circuit. <laughs> That is the look at some of the more interesting sections of this circuit, but we're spoilt for choice. 2.4 kilometers. This is a big one. Riders underway as we get a look at the circuit up close and personal. You do pick up a lot of speed into this first right hand bend. Lots of opportunity for overtaking here and into this ultra tight left hander. But as you saw there from Fiorentino, it's also very easy to stray wide up towards. This hairpin section building up quite a lot of speed. Once again, a lot of overtaking opportunities. Really a, a spoil of riches in terms of overtaking opportunities. We heard about this one into this S-Bend sequence, briefly onto concrete, and then we are on to the dirt for the first time. So many different surfaces, so many different qualities of surface to contend with around this circuit. Under the tunnel, you can see two lines through this dirt section, a little bit of uh, steel plate there as well up and over the jump, and then picking up some speed again here. Very important to measure your speed, make sure you don't land in the wrong spots there. That's that for the dirt. Now back onto the main road, but only briefly, as we arc left here, flying back into what is actually the paddock for the by George Tashley circuit where of course we held the Supermoto of Nations last year. A hugely technical section here, love this long left-hander into this braking zone. Plenty of sharp braking zones through this section. The bravest will be able to make moves here but it also feels like somewhere where there is a small margin for error if you make a mistake. Lots of hairpin corners, lots of demanding technical sections and you can see the tarmac is quite new as well. So maybe not optimal grip around some sections. It's also a very busy weekend, so maybe some oil down. One last S-bend, back out onto the road, and that is a 2.4 kilometre lap of Mete. Race one of the weekend, and Mark Reiner-Schmidt is joined by the rookie championship contenders, Andreas Buschberger and Steve Bonnell. San Martin, Cavers and Hullbacker on row two. Lucas Hullbacker with an off in Superpole. Tim Zalai, Yuri Katarina, Milan Sitniansky on row three. Poirot, Baltus and Katus rounding out our first four rows of a packed grid. And for the first time this weekend in Mitte, we are racing and it looks like a good start from the inside there for Steve Bonnell. It's Bonnell with an early lead, good going, but there goes Mark Reiner-Schmidt. Short-lived lead then, but uh, Mark Reiner-Schmidt wanting to defend that red plate, wanting to defend that number one for the 2024 season, gets himself into the lead in short order. Bonnell just needs a decent weekend really to win the rookie championship over Andreas Buschberger, who's just behind him. Barry Beltus, they're getting a good start. He's in sixth place on the Kawasaki. We haven't seen a Kawasaki up front for a little while, but uh, Barry Beltus on the number 70, running just ahead there of Elias Samartin. And there's Lucas Hulbacher in fourth place. In fact, <laughs> make that third place. Lucas Hulbacher quickly working his way through the order here. He needs to give himself every chance he can to close and pass Mark Reiner-Schmidt in this race. Just three points between them coming into this weekend. And Hullbacker would establish himself as the favorite if he can outscore and defeat Mark Reiner-Schmidt on Saturday. Up the inside goes Hullbacker. Has he got the run out of the corner? Yes, he does. Nicely done there by Lucas Hullbacker on the MTR KTM. Up into second place he goes. Incidentally, Thomas Charret, we should give him a mention. Uh, he is here mentoring Steve Bonnell this weekend, but unfortunately, he is injured. He's carrying a shoulder injury since uh, Alcaraz, he had a bit of a tumble. 
And while he isn't able to race right now, we're sure he'll be back in due course. So unfortunately, no Thomas Charre, who was sitting third with an outside attempt, potentially at taking the title, but uh, not to be this yet. It's Schmidt versus Hullbacker then at the front of the order. Lucas Hullbacker on the Austrian bike with the Austrian team. The Austrian rider, the world's fastest baker, looking to cook up something special this weekend. But what an adversary he has in the form of the reigning, defending two-time world champion, Mark Reiner Schmidt. Steve Bonnell in third place. Oh, but up the inside goes Andreas Buschberger. Buschberger definitely needs to get some points over Steve Bonnell. Frankly, he needs a poor weekend for Steve Bonnell. Bonnell had a brilliant run at Alcaraz, establishing himself as the Rookies Championship leader. And finishing behind Buschberger in this race won't be too much concern to him. Lucas Hellbacker. set some good pace so far this weekend had a bit of a moment in Super Bowl but otherwise has looked strong he's closing in on Schmidt meanwhile Elia Samartin closing in on the 96 over the shoulder goes uh, Roman Gavers there he's well aware uh, that someone is behind him looks the looks over the shoulder again and frankly made that a bit easy I think he realised he wasn't keeping Elia Samartin at bay Samartin Working his way through the order, he'll want to finish the main season on a high. Of course, a lot of these riders will be at next weekend's Supermoto of Nations as well, including both of these gentlemen. Lucas Hellbacker pursuing Mark Reiner Schmidt now. Down the main straight, this is the same main straight that used to be in use on the eight kilometer road circuit, as driven and ridden by the likes of John Surtees, Alberto Ascari. Giacomo Agostini and Sir Sterling Moss. There's that Kawasaki again of Barry Baltus. Under pressure from Elias Samartin, who's got the run. Very nicely done. Samartin up to fifth place, but Baltus running this weekend, of course, on home turf, doing a really good job as well. Hullbacker closing in, I don't think. He's quite going to do enough, though. Mark Reiner-Schmidt across the line to take the win. Very well done by Schmidt. He takes the first race ahead of Holbacker. Yeah, first race was very intense. I had hard battle. Lucas was close to me. I tried to push all the race, and yeah, I could make that win. It's very important. Now I'm leading with seven points. After for the fast race, I will put also everything in. The crowd here in Method is amazing. I love to race here and can't wait for more race action this weekend. See you guys there. Mark Reiner Schmidt in jubilant mood, then he takes another few points away from Lucas Hurlbacker. Mark Reiner Schmidt extending and doubling his championship lead going into Sunday. Sunday at the Mete Superbiker, the world's biggest supermoto event, one of the world's greatest spectator spectacles in motorcycle racing as well. The world championship being decided today in front of plenty of fans who get plenty of entertainment for their money. What a stage this is to decide the 2023 world title. The fast race begins now. We go racing for the first time on Championship Deciding Sunday, and it looks as though Mark Reiner Schmidt has a good run. He should be the leader, but Andreas Buschberger there just trying to sneak up the inside. It is, however, Mark Reiner Schmidt in the lead. Holbacker critically in second place. Steve Bonnell there on the unfavoured outside around turn two. Manages to hold on to fourth position. To another left-hander. Oh, and up the inside goes Yuri Katerin. Yuri Katerin on the Honda Red Moto Gazza racing entry there. He's got himself up into P4. Good run. Then on the first lap from Katerin. Oh, well, maybe not. He goes down. Yuri Katerin down. Steve Bonnell up to fourth. Steve Bonnell up to third. That was Mark Reiner Schmidt. Mark Reiner Schmidt goes down on the first lap. A rare, uncharacteristic error from the German, from the defending world champion. And Lucas Hullbacker is into the race lead. I think it's no coincidence this circuit shares a lot of hallmarks with Sunk Vendel. 
Two places where Schmidt thrives, but a rare error from the German competitor. Steve Bonnell up to third place then. Oh, but in the shadows and coming out into the light. Mark Reiner Schmidt picked the bike up quickly and is already back up to third place. Mark Reiner Schmidt wanting to waste no time at all. Lucas Hullbacker in the lead. He knows any scoring over Mark Reiner Schmidt is sorely needed here. Just a half dozen points between them at this stage. Buschberger and Schmidt fighting out for second place. I don't think Andreas Buschberger is going to be able to do his countrymen too many favours. Sure enough, already up the inside is Mark Reiner Schmidt. Schmidt then into second place. Steve Bonnell rounds the first corner. Oh, and just to the right of shot there was Mark Reiner Schmidt. Schmidt was picking the bike up again. Schmidt has made another error. He's back down to fourth place behind Steve Bonnell. Steve Bonnell in third place once more. <laughs> once again, there goes Mark Reiner Schmidt. He's had a very difficult first few laps. He's clearly still got the pace and he's very quick to work his way through the order, but he knows as well as we all do that he shouldn't be doing this. He should be trying to make his way to the back of Hurlbacker and it looks as though he's now finally doing so. Hurlbacker though, home free and clear at the front of the order. He just needs to keep this going now. Schmidt is through into second place ahead of Buschberger. Mark Reiner Schmidt will lose just a few points here to Lucas Hellbacker. He'd still be in the championship lead going into the final race so long as he takes P2. However, if they finish this way again in the super final, Lucas Hellbacker would be world champion. I think it's critical for Schmidt's confidence to take this win if he possibly can, but Lucas Hullbacker is by no means going to make it easy for him. Clearly, Mark Reiner Schmidt has the pace this morning. He's closing in on Hullbacker, but will he close in soon enough? Hullbacker heading towards the dirt for the final time. He's usually very, very good on the dirt, Lucas Hullbacker. Over the jumps he goes. Just a few corners between himself and the win, but Mark Reiner Schmidt emerges on the main straight in the lead. What's happened to Lucas Hullbacker? Hullbacker has slowed massively in the final section of the last lap. And I think Hullbacker's tyre is down. Look, the tyre. Oh no, Lucas Hullbacker with a puncture on the final lap. Could that be the moment that defines this championship? Reiner Schmidt scores. Another three points over Lucas Hullbacker in terms of that championship lead. Buschberger rounding out the podium in the fast race. But what misfortune for Hullbacker. It was a really nice race. I could manage uh, after the start directly to get in third position. Um, unlucky Mark had a crash and then I got to be second. And Mark passed me again and then he had an, another crash and he passed me again. And then I could manage to keep the third position till the the finish and I'm really happy. I really li like this track and the crowd is really amazing and it's really nice to be here. Everybody loves Matei. However, Lucas Hullbacker will feel most aggrieved at what's happened to him there in the fast race. He's only got the super final left to try and secure that championship. But Mark Reiner Schmidt now just needs a good race to claim the title. to decide the 2023 championship. It's Mark Reiner Schmidt on pole position with Lucas Hurlbacker and Andreas Buschberger alongside him. Bonnell, San Martin and Huarot on row two of the grid. Row three, Yuri Katerin, Berry Baltas and Mitya Krasnicki. And row four, Fiorentino, Pernat and Prevaznik. One more time, we go racing. Flag is displayed. The lights are on, and the lights are off. We go racing, and it's a great start from Holshot Hullbacker. He needs to win. He needs to rely on Mark Reiner Schmidt having a bad race here in the Super Final. He's done the first bit. He's got himself to the front of the order. Steve Bonnell, he just needs to get a good result here. A half-decent result even will net him the rookie championship, which he's been working towards this season. His main adversary, Andreas Buschberger there, getting real sideways, getting himself up into third place, just ahead of Yuri Katerin. Yuri Katerin 
went down here on the first lap in the fast race. No such dramas this time. Steve Bonnell running in sixth place. Bonnell, I think, is taking it the conservative route on this one. He's not going to do anything silly. Just needs a decent finish. He will win the rookie classification. Lucas Halbacher, though, he needs to win. And he needs Mark Reiner Schmidt to be lower than second place. He needs Schmidt off the podium to have any chance of winning this championship. Mark Reiner Schmidt can quite comfortably just sit there in second place and secure the title. But something tells me that particularly here at Mete, that is not going to be Mark Reiner Schmidt's style. Elias Samartin challenging and passing Yuri Katerine. He managed to get himself ahead, of course, of Steve Bonnell at the very start of the race. And now Samartin looking to try and get past Andreas Buschberger. Look at this. Holbacher, Schmidt, Buschberger, Samartin, all very close on this second lap of racing. Through they go, on to the start finish straight once again. And Elias Samartin senses an opportunity at a podium here. Oh, Buschberger. Very sideways into the turn there. Hullbacker with a slightly narrow line. Does that open up the seas? Yes, it does. Look at that, into the lead goes Andreas Buschberger. Hullbacker demoted, Schmidt demoted. Andreas Buschberger on the Husqvarna is your race leader. Buschberger really coming on to song here in the super final. He's building a gap over Hullbacker. San Martin in fourth place. He'd be all oh, down. Down has gone Buschberger. We just saw it on the right of screen. The white and yellow is down. Andreas Buschberger had a great opportunity there. And sadly, he's gone down. Lucas Hellbacker defending again, and this time it's Elias Samartin who capitalises. Samartin gets through to the lead. I think Hellbacker is, is trying to get people ahead of Mark Kreiner Schmidt here almost. Steve Bonnell. Oh, Bonnell and Katerine, I think that was. They make contact. Oh, did Yuri stay up? I'm not sure, but Steve Bonnell there making contact with Yuri Katerine. Lap seven of this race, it's been hugely dramatic, this super final so far. What's going on at the front of the order? It's still the 32, it's Elias Amartin. And into the joker lane goes Mark Reiner Schmidt. He gives himself some track space, that's a really good idea. The joker lane is exclusive to the super final. He's now given himself some track space to try and usurp not just this man, Samartin, but critically also Lucas Hurlbacker. Up and over goes Elias Samartin on the number 32. The L30 Racing TM Factory rider. Of course, a teammate to Mark Reiner Schmidt. And if he can hold up Lucas Erlbacher, he'll be doing the German all sorts of favours. Samartin and Erlbacher with Schmidt right behind them now on the final lap of the race. Samartin has really held up Lucas Hurlbacker, and I think both of them still have to take their joker lane. So Mark Reiner Schmidt should be taking this victory. Oh, Lucas Hurlbacker gets around Elias Amartin, and they both go into the joker lane. Mark Reiner Schmidt will be charging into the race lead. Lucas Hurlbacker is going to finish second, and Mark Reiner Schmidt takes the win and the 2023 championship. He's a three-time world champion. The Mark Reiner Schmidt era is firmly upon us. Three championships in a row. He is the dominant force in Supermoto right now. Mark Reiner Schmidt takes the Super Final and the Grand Prix of Belgium for good measure ahead of Lucas Hurlbacker. Steve Bonnell secures the rookie championship with third in the event, tying with Andreas Buschberger. The team manager, Ivan Lazzarini. Steve Bonnell, the rookie champion, claims third place in the Grand Prix. Lucas Hurlbacker, vice champion, he'll be happy. But a difficult Reiner weekend for him. Schmidt. And here comes Mark Reiner Schmidt, three-time world champion, the dominant force 
of S1 GP in the current era. And it's an era that we can christen his. Aurelien Lafner presenting the big trophy to Mark Reiner Schmidt. Jubilation. Yuri Sitnia, the FIM Chief Steward, presents the gold plate, the World Championship plate, to Mark Reiner Schmidt. And the celebrations begin. Three world titles in a row, I, I'm speechless. Such a great year with up and downs. Super thankful to my team at 30 TM Factory, to all my sponsors, my supporters around me. I enjoy every minute on the bike this year. Can't wait for the next season start. Just happy and thankful. Will be maybe even better for next year. I'm ready. Thank you guys and have a good winter break and see you soon. Delight then for Mark Reiner Schmidt. He secures the 2023 championship. Holbacker taking second. Thomas Charrier holds on to third in the title despite missing Mete. Elias Amartin in fourth and Steve Bonnell, the rookie champion, fifth overall. That concludes the 2023 World Championship season. But next weekend, the Supermoto of Nations takes to Castelletto di Branduzzo. It's not been a season without adversity for Mark Reiner Schmidt, but he has overcome every challenge and every obstacle that 2023 has thrown at him. He is once again going to have the number one plate in 2024, but his competition will regroup and come back stronger. For now though, the world champion and the rider of the 2020s to this point is Mark Reiner Schmidt.